So now that everything's set in, um, it was a, a huge blessing. I mean, um, definitely came down to all the hard work that we put in and it just all paying off at the end of the day. And it still feels like a surreal moment. I mean, I still wake up every day like, wow, I'm really a PBA champion. That's definitely a good way to wake up, knowing that you're a champion. <laughs> Kuya Ryan, um, coming from the championship in the PBA bubble and then now to 2021, um, what were the, the biggest changes aside from, of course, welcoming Mikey Williams and, and Coach Chotreas back into the PBA? What did you feel was uh, the biggest difference in the squad? Why was it enough for you to win the championship this time? Um, I think we had um, just the gelling of the team, the chemistry. Um, we had a lot of time as well um, in the off season to train um, and um, you know know each other's strengths and weaknesses and learn from that. So, and then learning from the past bubble as well. So it helped us a lot this come this this up um, this bubble. Yeah, you know, uh, Mike, I want to circle back to you here because you mentioned in an interview that it took you a minute to actually get adjusted, to get used to being part of this team. Can you tell us a bit about the challenges that you went through just to get comfortable, just to be able to contribute in the way that you did for TNT? Well, um, the guys welcomed me with open arms. I mean, I came to, you know, I didn't miss, I missed training camp and I wasn't able to make a couple practices with the guys until I got out of quarantine, and that was a challenge in itself. But as soon as I got on the court with everybody, you know, it, it felt just right. You know, everybody welcomed me with open arms, you know, helping me from day one to learn everything I needed to, you know, just to fit in. And um, I really commend the guys and the coaching staff for, for truly helping me and making me feel at home. Kuyarai, what was your first impression of Mikey? Because he came into the league with a lot of hype. A lot of people were thinking that he could be one of the top scorers in the league. So how was he in his first few days? Pretend he's not here. Uh, let, let us know what you really feel. <laughs> actually, um, when he came in, I wasn't in, I wasn't there. I was actually on COVID protocols. So, But when I saw him, uh, finally uh, seeing him play, uh, I, you know, on TV, I was like, oh, he's going to be something special. He just needs to settle in, get used to the type of style and, um, you know, coming off the plane is hard it's just to to play right away and quarantine as well. So, I, you know, I saw in him that he was going to do he was going to do fine the way he is and he works hard and everything and just the type of person he is, uh, humble and just a hard worker. Clear, Ryan. We all know that back in the PBA bubble, the last conference, there were games that where you did not get a lot of minutes. There were games that you got a bit more opportunities. But in terms of just preparing yourself for another year in the PBA, how did you take care of yourself physically? And also, how did you keep your confidence high? Because uh, we know that it, it is very difficult when you're not getting the opportunities um, on the floor. Uh, you just got to just stay ready. Um, I had uh, our trainers, our, our PT, uh, Coach Dre, uh, Coach Mike, Coach Dex, and our nutritionist, uh, Janet, Coach Janet. Just you know, helping me throughout the whole uh, off season, just trying to get uh, in great shape, be ready, and um, just you know, taking care of my body um, health wise, and you know, and that's what helped me throughout this um, this bubble, and um, just staying ready because you know, Coach Shot um, just picks anyone off the bench, and you just got to be ready when he does, and that's that's what we all did. Well, speaking of taking care of your body, uh, we all saw what happened. Uh, at least I did. And, and at the end of the game number five, how you and Kelly Williams were a little bit banged up. You know, Kelly uh, <laughs> took a seat during the celebration. <laughs> Kuyarai, how happy were you to wrap things up in game number five? Because I, I'm sure you weren't even remotely interested in playing a game number six. Yeah, we, 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 we told each other we can finally rest. Um, glad that we won. There, there was no game five anymore. Um, but we were banged up. I know he was banged up. I, I was banged up and tired. Uh, but, you know, we had to pull through and, you know, finish till the end, and which we did. And that's what that's what counts. And all, you know, all the tiredness from working hard throughout the whole uh, training camps and this thing just all paid off. You know, Mikey, we saw a bit of the accolades of uh, Kui Ryan just a while ago. Again, seven-time PBA champion, three-time PBA All-Star, three-time PBA All-Defensive team, and of course, uh, Rookie of the Year back in 2008. And we talked a bit about the veterans as well. Uh, we saw Kelly really struggle with his body. What did you learn from the vets throughout this experience? Um, 
you know, you know, rooming with Ryan for like half of the bubble, and then um, you know, having vets like Kelly and, and Jason, you know, you learn a lot about being a pro, you know, being a better pro, because um, those those guys carry themselves with so much humility and you know so much leadership that they bring to the table. You know, you can't do anything but but follow, because those are great leaders to to be leading us and um, throughout the whole bubble. Those are who we leaned on when it came to, you know, them being vocal and them pushing us, holding us accountable. Uh, little things like that. That's what helped us get over the hump. Well, Kuyare, when we talk a bit about the younger players of this team, because there were a lot of players who have not won a championship, who come so close but then un were unable to get past that hump, sometimes just one game away. How does this make you feel knowing that this group in particular, like the likes of see, the RRs and the Troy, were finally able to get their hands on a trophy? Oh, I'm super happy for those guys, uh, especially knowing, you know, that first one. Um, and seeing all the, the hard work they've been putting through everything from when they got on the team, because I've been on the team since they were rookies. And, you know, seeing, you know, that final buzzer and, and had them becoming champions finally, you know, uh, I know I can see all the emotion and everything. And I felt that I felt what they felt. And, you know, it feels good to, to you know, um, know that they felt that and happy that they got their first. Mikey, you know that Ryan Reyes is the only local to ever pick up 10 steals in a ball game, right? <laughs> uh, I heard, I heard, I definitely heard. You know, uh, Ryan is a tremendous defender. You know, he definitely brought the spark when we needed it. You know, and his intensity, everybody just wanted to, to feed off that and, and play harder. And I feel like he definitely was the difference maker for us uh, in this championship run because there was a lot of games where we were flat and, you know, Ryan came with the energy and everybody just followed and tried to follow suit and pick up our energy as well. And definitely come in Ryan for that. Mikey, a lot has been said with uh, your matchup against Chris Ross, of course, him defending you during the semifinals and preparing you for the finals. But I think we also have to talk about how you were defended in practice uh, by, by Queer Ryan, maybe, <laughs> or Brian Neruela, or Kip Montalvo. Uh, can you just let us in on how, you know, those defensive-minded players also pushed you during your preparations, during your practices? Oh, they made, they made this transition a lot better for me, a lot easier. You know, going against guys like that every single day in practice is basically what you're going to see in the game. And their physicality, just how they approach defense. You know, I really got a sense of how much pride they're really taking it. And that upped my game as well because that made me want to do the same. 